general and specific statements. How can we distinguish them? Hi, amazing learners! How are you today? I hope you're doing great. I am your teacher, Janice. Join me as I walk you through an interesting lesson. Are you excited to learn? Here sentences. Identify the subject in each sentence. Let's read the sentence first, then answer. First, animals should be protected. What is the subject in the sentence? Nice, animals. Second, the Philippine eagle is an endangered species. What is the subject in the sentence? Good, Philippine Eagle. Third, trees give us food and shelter. What is the subject in the sentence? That's right, trees. Fourth, Nara is good for furniture. Good job, Nara. How about the next sentence? Workers are suffering much in this time of pandemic. What is the subject in the sentence? Workers. Awesome. What about this sentence? Medical frontliners overwork due to the increasing number of COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. What is the subject in the sentence? Great. Fantastic. You are able to identify the subjects in the sentences. Now, let's go back to your answers. Which among the words have the bigger idea? That's great! Animals, trees, and workers have broader scope compared to Philippine Eagle, Nara, and medical professionals. Kids! Always remember that a sentence is a word or group of words that gives a complete thought. It has a subject and a predicate. The subject is a person or thing that is being discussed, described, or dealt with. A statement that gives information is classified into general and specific statement. Today, we're going to distinguish general statements from specific statements. I have here a short paragraph. Listen carefully as I read it. The land transportation sector is one of the affected services during the pandemic. Buses, jeepneys, public utility vans, tricycles, motorcycles, and even pedicabs were not allowed to travel except for emergency and essential purposes. This measure was done to stop the spread of the virus and to ensure that the public won't get infected. Now, let's answer some questions. First, based on the paragraph, what is one of the affected services during the pandemic? Yes, the land transportation sector is one of the affected services during the pandemic. Second, what are the different kinds of land transportation mentioned in the paragraph? Correct! Buses, jeepneys, public utility vans, tricycles, motorcycles, and pedicabs. We can say that the first sentence in the paragraph is the general statement, and the second sentence, which enumerates the different modes of land transportation, is the specific statement. What is the difference between general statement and specific statement? 
general statement is a sentence that defines or declares some large and broad information. It does not describe one particular event. It usually expresses the general idea of a piece of writing. A specific statement refers to the exact and precise description. It provides evidence to further define the general idea or general statement. Being able to recognize whether a statement is specific or general is a key to understand how sentences operate in the given statement. To give us a clear picture about the relationship of general idea and specific idea, let us have the following examples. General idea, trees, specific examples, nara, acacia, yakal, mango, guava, and all kinds of trees. Now, I will give you the general idea and you give the specific examples or related words. A general idea gives bigger or broader information, while a specific idea is more narrow. Now, I will give you the specific examples and you will give the general idea. Let's start! Well done, kids! Now, let's go back and check your answers. In the activity, you will see that the words in the right side of the table provide evidence to further define the words in the left side or the general idea column. Planets, for example, is more general than the words Mercury, Earth, and Mars. There are many words that can be classified as planets. Therefore, the examples given are the specific ideas of the word planet. Now, let's try another set of examples. Read the following pair of statements and distinguish which among the two is a general statement and a specific statement. A. The doctors are heroes of pandemic. B. Dr. Salvador from Eastern Visayas Regional Medical Center treats COVID-19 patient. What is the subject in sentence A? How about in sentence B? Which among the two subjects has a broader idea? Which sentence presents a general statement? A is a general statement as it covers broad categories or group of people like doctors. Statement B is very specific as it talks about a particular individual named Dr. Salvador that supports the statement. Doctors are heroes of pandemic. Now, I will show you a table showing some examples of general and specific statements. 
you must observe and take down notes of their difference. Remember, you can distinguish the difference between general and specific statement by simply reading through the sentence and identifying the word or group of words that the details relate to. Now that we have learned how to distinguish between general and specific statements, we are ready to answer the following sets of activities. In the first activity, you will be given sets of specific ideas or related words and you will give the general idea. For example, skirt, shorts, blouse, uniform. Your answer would be clothing. What is your score? If you got 5, excellent. If you got 3 or 4, good. 2 and below, do well in the next activities. This time, you will identify the general statement from the given sentences. Choose the letter of your answer. What is your score? I know you're doing well. Now that you already know how to distinguish between general statements and specific statements, let us answer the assessment. Ready your paper and ball pen. Write G if the statement is general and S if the statement is specific. 1. Nature is man's treasure. Mrs. Medina baked this sweet cake. Three, the students do their exercises very well. Four, cats and dogs are my best friends at home. Humans are responsible to take good care of nature. Six, 
Sampaguita is the Philippine national flower. Seven, teachers lead their learners into a successful future. Eight, the world begins to cry because of the responsible people. Nine, my science teacher taught us how to be patient in chemistry class. Ten, a grade four pupil from St. Peter Elementary School was awarded gold medalist from her honesty during the celebration of Buwan ng Wika. Great job, kids! You all deserve two thumbs up. Today, you have learned the difference between general and specific statements. Remember that a general idea gives us a broader information while a specific idea is more narrow. I hope we made our day productive. If you want to watch this video lesson again, you may visit our YouTube channel. Search RLTV Depend Later, click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. This is your teacher Janice saying stay safe and stay committed to learning. Bye!